What's up, guys? You know, that last message, I was apprehensive on uploading it, but I know that my guides, they, they pulled that shit for a reason. Okay? Um, I guess if we're going to call ourselves authentic and we're going to call ourselves guides and everything like that, you really got to be like your raw self on camera or, or what's the point of being on camera you just be like everybody else that you wind up talking about and that just makes you a hypocrite and then like you lose all credibility eventually and is it worth it it's not for me so you know don't don't kill the messenger and that I can tell that you know for who I exposed that it wasn't something that I intentionally did it was something that I intuitively, because I'm intuitive, picked up one minute exactly. And I just, you know, it didn't make me feel good because I'm not that person. But, you know, spirit guides, the universe is using people who are truly authentic to expose people. And that's just that. So, all right, let's just see what they want to talk about. I love you guys. I'm Philly Sophical. This is my channel. We are authentic over here down to knocking ourselves talking about all of our mistakes our past our present we don't hide behind masks over here we don't expose other people and then go backwards on our path there's there's a there's a bunch of readers that actually went backwards i don't know if they started hanging around the wrong people or if they live in bad neighborhoods or they never stopped hanging around the people or they started making money off of giving readings or whatever it is super thanks donations and then they started dipping and dabbling into some shit you're supposed to be on your journey when you're on your journey and you're claiming to be someone who is like a teacher ascended master some even claim and you know come on please um you know but don't don't you got to talk about it uh, I, you really would gain more respect from people if you talked about it two 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 Okay, let's just get into it. What is the message, please? What is the message, please, for the collective? Thank you. Seeker, yeah, you be on your journey, so there's a lot of you that are, uh, you're just... Well, you know what this really is, is too, in the low vibration, this is somebody who can't commit to the path. So I don't know if, I don't know, let's just see, I want to I see which, which um, one that we're talking about here, because we're talking about code of ethics, she just said. Yeah, be ethical. Have some ethics. The irony is some of these people are talking about other people doing meth. And, it, and it's you. Stop. We don't like it. Us real authentic people that have authenticity, we don't like it. Is real. Yeah, real is real, she just said. You can't make it up. That's who we are. That's who we are over here. And this is why it's like one by one, you guys are going to start falling off. It's just the way it's going to be. There's not going to be many of us left, but that's how it's supposed to be. The wheat from the chaff is being separated everywhere. Do you feel me? Three, three, three. I command the truth. It's today, September 1st, 2022. Thank you. Can you clear that for me, please? Is this the seeker in the low attribute? No. So this is the seeker in the light attribute thank you so this is thirst for wisdom and truth still the same subject everywhere you go truth this is how the new world is going to be whether it's your regular family or who you who you choose to let into your soul family you guys use your discernment the funny thing is is i'm realizing now hindsight that smoking meth is a lot easier to hide than snorting it it just is, but it will affect your throat. And you will, <clears throat> you will do that a lot. You will talk faster. You will, you will mumble your words. You will fuck up your words. I, how do I know, right? Because I did it for years. I was smoking it, so just keep going. So you guys just want truth, or you should just want truth. You know, it's. Um, in, in a world full of lies, more pe people are just comfortable with it. They don't, they don't really want to be the truth spitters that they claim to be. 
they don't want to be uh, authentic and genuine the way that they claim to be. They want to. I'm sorry. Let, yeah, I was corrected. They want to. But they can't. Or right now, they can. All right. Yeah, the universe. This is you. I need healed people. I want people tell, claiming to help heal me and guide me to actually be able to heal and guide themselves. How are you going to sit there and tell people that you're going to guide them or that you're uh, an influence at all? What kind of influence? I'm sure that you there are influences on YouTube. What kind of influence, though, are you? I'm cool with who I am. And I want the feeling down. Yeah, eventually you're going to get that come down, okay? <laughs> Five, four, three. All right. Somebody's experiencing karma for telling people that they are on their journey and that, you know, they're they're honest and all this other stuff. So let's see. Tell me about this seeker, please. Some of this, this is your actual family. For others of you, these are people that you choose to let into your soul family. Okay. We're not juggling karmic energy. This represents just karmic energy to me right now with this King of Wands. It's it doesn't have a gender. This is juggling, going back and forth, drinking, drugging, and then talking about other people drinking and drugging. Like um, last week when I got that bottle of, what is it, Dan? Is it Dan Ac No, Dan Aykroyd's vodka skull or something, right? Whatever it was. It's awesome. It's so smooth. I posted it because I want people to know, like, I, I still drink from time to time, you know? <laughs> it's like I ate... Um, um, edible like weed pills uh like a month ago it's very it's something i do for myself once in a while now i don't do it often i don't judge anybody for what they do but stop hiding it and playing like you're perfect you're getting karma for this you got it's the same shit as just being a fraud it's the same exact shit it's you're not much different than the people that you claim to be exposing and reading for some of these people are actually reading their own energy and they don't even realize it so we're not going back and forth in karma like this, okay? I, I don't know. Let's just see. Keep going, please. For others of you, yeah, going back to the past. For others of you, I'm going to give you a, a, you know, a general, and then I'm going to give you, like I always do, like something I see specifically. Somebody here was going back and forth with possibly a fire sign from their past. Somebody could have, you know, for some reason, this could be somebody who went backwards on their journey. They could have got caught up with a karmic masculine from their past that they, they used to deal with. Somebody did here. They could have a family with this person. Or this could be a family member. This could be like a cousin um, or an uncle or something like that. Tell me more, please. This person's very manipulative. This could be somebody they were married to. Libra energy. with somebody somebody was lonely i feel like uh there, there's somebody that was lonely so they went back and got caught up again with i don't know if it's a fire sign but it, it could be it could be an aries or sagittarius that they were married to in the past they could have kids with this person yeah they have a child at, at least one child with this person somebody was on their journey tainted love listen to this yeah, somebody went back to a tainted person, and I feel like this is when all this other stuff started. Got to run away. Yeah, they were married to this person. So this could be, I hope that this isn't somebody talking about other people going back to a karmic. I really hope not. I really hope that somebody's not on a platform talking and knocking other people for going back and saying, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it, but they did it. And turn. I can't sleep at night. So this person obviously was on drugs. Painted. Toxic ass love. Yeah. That you're just getting karma for it. Damn. Justice and judgment. Let's get some... Uh, where are my letters? Oh, right in front of me. Somebody went back to tainted love and I feel like it affected their life completely. A hundred percent. They're, this they, this this karmic energy doesn't want this person to uh, to move forward. It was probably they probably fell into the same trap. They tell other people not to fall in. To hold you tight. Sorry, I don't pray that way. 
Yeah, P, P, D. I, I always see police department with the justice system. This could be a, they, they could have been a cop or something. Tell me about this, please. And now, generally speaking, this is you guys, you know. It's like you're not juggling anything from your past. Like, you allow justice to come in. You allow judgment to take place. Judgment's been called. And good for you. you. So this is clearly somebody who kept going on the seekers, like, the journey. So, love you, though. You hurt me. So, someone's a tease. Pack my things and go. Sure you are. So this is clearly a dichotomy of those of you who are staying on your path and you're doing the right thing, and then there's others uh, that fell off it. They have a hard time committing to it. So it's just, we're going to, you know, what side are you on, I guess, is what this message is going to be, right? Are you going back to tainted love, or are you going to keep moving forward? I know what all my uh, high vibers are going to do. The funny thing is, uh, I asked my pendulum, and that, that specific person is a karmic. They're not even uh, a divine being in the whole time. It's like, where did our love go? Down the toilet. P, 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 L. Oh. All right. Hold on. Um. Human beings. Internet slang abbreviation that refers to human beings. Short word for people. Is that what this is, Spirit? You want to leave me? You should. I command the truth. Is that what this is, people? I was going to say that would be kind of, uh, that would be kind of obvious, right? Hold on, let's see. What does it mean in text? Stands for people. What does a PPL mean from a girl? Past the no. Yeah, people. Pay per no excuses, he just said. What is this? Hold on, because you, you know I got to figure this out, right? The, the word of the day for the uh, Urban Dictionary app I got is cuck fluffer. Let's just see what that is, because that just came in. I'm sure it has some kind of... Someone who was regulated to the sidelines so much that they're not even a cuck. They're the person in charge of giving the cuck a blowjob to get the cuck. Oh, boy. It doesn't sound good. A cuck fluffer. Sit in the corner and masturbate using his own tears as lube while someone else bangs his wife. So it's someone who's weak. Someone got weak. Oh, I don't even want to. Hold on, you guys. It's got to mean someone else. You, you know how I am, right? There are a lot of people. Pee pants laughing. All right. Is this pee pants laughing? All right, so somebody could be possibly laughing right now. All right, well, we went through all that for that, but I guess so. If I can make somebody laugh, then absolutely. That's what I, that's what I want to do. I want to make somebody laugh, but shit, I mean... You know, we got to be honest with ourselves, right? Because what else are we here for? We're tired of living in a world where there's nothing but frauds. We are here to change this planet. Document your life. It, you can't be on a public platform and then and then be phony. Just because we don't see your face doesn't mean that you're not going to get found out. Tell me, can I get another one, please? I'm going to make these shorter. Night. teacher uh, yeah romantic delusions so the top is loyal the bottom is disloyal right being it's claiming to be a teacher disloyal it's like uh, not being loyal to the people that you claim to be teaching is what I'm getting Tonight or today. open arms is on so maybe this person always takes this person back with open arms 
you know, whoever this is. And this is, you know, for some of you, this may be somebody that from your past that wants to come back. And for someone, and for other people, they did this. They went back. Creating competition. So this person's also trying to create competition between people. Somebody trying to compete with you. I don't know if this is your guides that are peeing themselves laughing. Get down. Somebody, yeah. So this this could be a situation, because get down. This was my getting jiggy with it, as it were, it says. And then I just... I just made them, I put what intuitively I felt like the cards meant for me, right? It was like, get down. Somebody got down. Somebody felt, somebody fell for. For some of you, somebody is from your past is going to, is going to, they thought you would compete, okay? And, and you're not. You, you're loyal to yourself now. For another person or group of people, PPL, they gave in. They were on the path. I feel like they were doing good. And then, oh. Oh my heart hold me now yeah somebody was like getting lonely or something and this person was creating a competitive situation with somebody and they gave in look truth and they got down with it so somebody they fell for it they fell for it yeah i feel like they were celibate 1616 16 it was they were and you guys that are and you're single and celibate and you know you're just being honest with yourself and everybody uh, around you, you know, you got people that are jealous of this because there's people who are claiming to be this and they're not. Times have been torn, tasseled and torn. That's what it says. Yeah, you guys, from this point on, like, you guys know your worth. This is self worth, this is beauty, this is respect. Being single, if I have to, moving forward. Stay with me. Yeah. This person here. I feel like somebody knew that somebody was single. So they had to, of course, they had to come in and swoop in and cause some kind of chaos in somebody's life because somebody was focusing on themselves. This could be something that may happen to some of you, but this is this happened to somebody, okay? They project this, this energy of, of I'm celibate or I'm single. That's not who they are. Games that we play. Yeah, we don't... The games, playing games. Somebody went right back to this. There's somebody who went right the fuck back to it. Focus. They lost their focus. 17 could be relevant. You guys are focused... Another group of people, I, I don't feel like it's one. I feel like it's it's a group of people who could not stay on the path. But these are people who have platforms or they claim to be spiritualists or they, you know, they claim to be on their journey and helping people. There could be another wave of people getting exposed for being frauds is what I'm picking up here. More fucking frauds. 1818, like that's the last thing that we need on this planet is more frauds, right? I haven't even used any of the white cards yet. That's odd, right? These are the ones that give us the juice, right? Let's see. 11 o'clock exactly. Tell me, uh, what, what more can you tell me, please, about this? Thank you. A divine masculine. Tell me more about this divine masculine, please. They think you're stuck up because you don't hang out with them anymore. So for you guys who actually stayed on the path and you're like, look, I am who I am. I am who I am. Divine masculine. These could be friends of yours that you don't hang out with anymore. This could be family members of yours. They see they they perceive to know everything that's going on in your life. Did did they notice you when you were there though? Was my question, divine masculine. When you were hanging out with these people or these family members, um were they really present in your life or were you just did they miss 1919? Do they just miss their punching bag? I feel like we all know the answer to this, Divine Masculine, but let's delve, let's delve into this too, because apparently uh, there's energies in here of people who feel PPL, people who feel like you're stuck up because you don't want to hang out with them anymore. Isn't it, isn't it funny though? This is how true colors come out, because Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, 
you were around these people when you were making bad decisions. And all they did was look at you funny, shake their head, give you that haughty look where their lips curl up and they're looking at you with those piercing eyes. Like everything you say, they're going, I already don't believe you. You know, with their mm hmm, mm hmm, staring at you, making you feel uncomfortable. And now you just don't, you're not around them anymore and you're doing better. They miss being able to project with that Eight of Wands their energy onto you. Bye, bye, bye. Listen. This is crazy. 2020, I came on. <laughs> this is you, Divine Masculine, going, I said bye, bye, bye. Don't take it personal. I just won't allow you to verbally, emotionally, for some of you, I don't know, physically abuse me. Probably going to start a fight. Yeah, are you guys starting fights or are these people starting fights? D don't don't worry about this, Divine Masculine. There, there's... I feel like it's family because of the family that was on the bottom of the deck in the beginning. They're pissed off at you. Look, can't be alone. Thank you, spirit guides. They, these people, there could be someone in particular that can't be alone, or this could just be people. It's not that they can't be alone. It's like they at that door watching videos about chosen ones. So this is why they have no morals. Whether this is friends or some of your family members, unfortunately, there's some of this in both, right? I guess that these people uh, have done something to you. So it's not really about... So, okay. So let, let me just... Let, let's wrap this up. They think you're stuck up because you don't hang out with them anymore. Did they obviously, if they're watching videos about chosen ones to see how deep the punishment goes, they must have taken something out on you behind your back. Reason, baby. Yeah, it's just you going, give me one more... Give me... Give me one reason to come back into this group. Thank you. That was like this the whole time. You know what I mean? If there's nothing I miss more when I get up in the morning and it's like, woo, I don't thank myself. You know, thank the universe for waking me up. I don't thank the universe for a roof over my head or the fact that I have water and food and clothing and a job uh, and my health. I think to myself, how can I get back to the group of people that made me feel like I was always competing? I could never measure up. Um, and they always reminded me of my mistakes. Yeah, no. You're, they're not getting it yet, I'm guessing. They're just not getting it. You had to cut these people out. I had enough. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit Guides. It may sound crazy, but it ain't no lie. So they could have thought you were lying. They could have thought that maybe you were still the person that you were in the past, or you were still getting high or drunk or still being with a bunch of broads, whatever it was for you guys, right? These people, whoever they are for you, they did not believe that you actually chose yourself. I don't want to be a fool, so I'm leaving. For some of you, it's an ex or a wife. For others of you, it's a mother or a family group. You started investing in yourself. And, and they're not used to this, right? And this is why. Look, you could be a Leo, possibly, or you just have, you have the courage now. You're a very strong manifestor away from these people, and you're proving it. Your life is probably better. You probably have more things, whether it's this, whether you had family members in your in your family that just borrowed money off of you, whether you had family members that stole off of you, whether you had parents that just enabled you so they just let you spend your money so frivolously and live home for free. Whatever it was, it wasn't conducive to the kind of man you were supposed to be. Not dude, not son, not brother. My, listen to this. I can't. My guides are amazing. There goes my hero. Thank you, spirit guides. You became your own hero. Somebody sees you as a hero, or you see somebody else as a hero. You're like, I gotta go save the world, kind of shit. You know, I can't, I can't do that from the basement, or I can't do that from grandma's house, or I can't do that uh, living with you, or whatever it was. Yeah, you're stable now. You could be investing in a relationship now. Aquarius energy. Yeah, you you investing in yourself and your own stability and possibly a marriage for some of you. Like you maybe you could be saving up for a ring. It's causing a tower moment. You could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius. But generally speaking, this is just the fact that you are actually like taking care of yourself. You're making good decisions with your money. You're investing in this whatever this partnership is, this, this four of wands. 
some of you guys started platforms and you're investing in a, in a platform like a channel or Instagram or something. And, and why is this tower moment here? Yeah, love. A whole new, like, this is you putting yourself first, doing everything out of love, offering. This is a relationship with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. You started investing in your relationship because you realized that you love this person. And it's got somebody else or other people. Like, are, are these people ever going to just give up? You guys work well together. I feel like you just collaborate well together. For some of you, you're, you met somebody at your job. Truth the consequence. Yeah, you're like, look, I know that I'm the one that has to deal with the consequences to my actions. So I want to do better. I, I want to have better actions for the reactions that come back into my life. I want, I want better effects from my causes. And these people or this person, somebody specifically can't be alone. I don't know who that is. This could have been you in the past. And now and now you're with somebody in a relationship. H-T-M. Let me find out if that's the letters that are supposed to be. You're in like hero mode where you know you, you want to make a difference in this world. And these people, they don't under, or somebody doesn't understand it. I command the truth. Is this HTM that you guys wanted me? Thank you. There goes my hero. Somebody thinks you're a hero. Hand to mouth. Oh. Hand to mouth. Were you a mama's boy, Divine Masculine? Because that's what I'm getting here. Let's see, though. I command the truth. Is this hand to mouth? Thank you, Spirit. Hand to mouth. Don't thank us. What exactly does hand to mouth mean? Because that's what it meant to me intuitively. In a way that satisfies only one's immediate needs. Okay, hand to mouth. So there's somebody that you were connected to, Divine Masculine, that only cared about their happiness. They didn't care about whether you were happy. This could be an ex-wife for some of you, an ex-girlfriend. For others of you, this is also the family room. So this could be family members that didn't care whether you were happy. And now, whoever this is, that now that you're not with them... They think you're stuck. It's like you can't win. So you're not putting yourself in situations with people anymore where you're like, I just can't win because I'm not competing. This isn't a game to me. I'm on my journey or I'm changing or something had to change. Didn't you guys constantly talk about this? Didn't you friends or family members or didn't my wife or girlfriend talk about it with my friends behind my back? How I had to make changes and stuff because this is not what you guys love to do. And so I finally do it, says you. And now it's like... Now, now you guys want to knock that? 11-11. These people, you can't please these people. And maybe this was you being a people pleaser too many. And you had to stop people pleasing. I feel like it was hard for you, but you're getting used to it. For others of you, you're just, you're just stopping people pleasing. And for uh, another group of you guys, it's getting easier for you because you're seeing... Like reward, you're getting reward from the universe for putting yourself first. Hey, mom, I'm sorry. Hey, mom. Let's see. Focus on repairing relationships that have drifted apart, finding common ground. So this is you guys. I'm gonna ask, but I feel like this is this is them saying they want to repair now. All of a sudden, with you, or they feel like if, but but it's not it's not a mutual thing, or not that it's not mutual. I I didn't mean that. I mean they don't care whether you want to or not, because normally. You would just jump how high for somebody or a group of people. So let me see something here. I can't afford to buy her pearls. This could be a wife, an ex-wife or girlfriend for some of you that only cared about what you could buy for them. For others of you, it's a family group. For others, it's friends. For some of you, it's, it's all of the above. I command the truth, please. Is this? It should Divine Masculine be repairing this relationship? Look at this. So this is them. This is them wanting to all of the sudden. 
I feel like these people, I'm just going to let the, this talk. I feel like these people, Divine Masculine, they just want something to bitch about. Am I wrong about this? They just want something to bitch about. No. They're, they're miserable or they're bored. Um, they missed the target. Now they're just throwing darts in the air because nobody wants to step up as the, as the bullseye, as the actual target that was on the wall where you were. Nobody wants to be in that position. Isn't that funny, Divine Masculine? I'm going to leave this at that. I had, you know... Divine Masculine, I feel like there's somebody or people in your life that was so used to you just taking, like, bullets. And now, they don't want to be the pro. You step up now. 30-30, why don't you guys step up and be the punching bag? And maybe maybe you're going to have to. Something may happen where a group of people may have to force themselves. They're, they're being forced, whether they like it or not, to see exactly how they treated you. And now you're not there, and you're doing better. And, and some of these people will never admit that they were wrong, and they're going to die, or they're going to go to jail, or whatever. Wherever the last place that they wind up for good, that's where they're going to go, because they don't have the ability to admit that they were wrong. And that's cool, but it's going to be a difficult road for these people, and maybe this is why the universe wanted you to separate. So it's different for all of you. I love you regardless of who you are. We're not going nowhere. For those of you who are true, authentic, you're not hiding behind a mask. You're not talking smack on other people uh, when you should be talking smack on yourself as well. I dig you guys. There's not many of you. Philly out.